Yes, I know. It, it's embarrassing. Good evening, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a Q&A with some baking. Don't mind the ironing board there. I just had to spend 20 minutes searching for the iron because I don't know where it was because my shirt was creased, but I think I did a pretty good job. Yesterday, I put up on my Instagram for people to ask me questions for a Q&A, and basically what I'll do is I'll just put them up on the screen, answer the questions while I'm baking, and that's how it's going to work. I will put the ingredients and the method in the description, so please don't click off the video and start making my brownies until you've watched the video. Instead of me spending like 10 minutes of your time watching me get all the ingredients ready and sorted, I'm just going to skip to me with all the ingredients. Ready for this sick transition? Wow, that was great. Obviously I'm recording on my phone, so I have this iPad. So I'll just start baking and then we'll just get straight into the questions. So we're gonna heat the oven. Butter and line the baking tin. See, I can't really do that, so mum usually does that for me, so you may see mum in the video. Melt butter and plain chocolate together, stir until smooth. The first question is, do you use sunbeds? <laughs> no, no, I don't use sunbeds. I know I may look like I do use sunbeds, but never have. Never will. I used to just get my tan from going to France or Italy or well, my back garden when I'm when I'm revising and here's a clip of me talking about my tan two years ago in the park. It's important for a young fellow like you to have a good tan. Uh thanks so, yeah. Or shall we do anything? It's the fricking Yes, I know. It, it's embarrassing. I did not add the Thug Life music, that was, that was someone else. Who's my football hero growing up? For me, it would be Kaka, because off the pitch, if you didn't know, he's a Christian. And for me, that was something that it was very good to look up to when I was growing up. But that's for off the pitch, but actually on the pitch, Wayne Rooney, honestly, a United fan through and through. And watching him play when I grew up was just, he was a top quality player. Next level, so he was. We should use 250 grams of dark chocolate, but I don't really like the dark chocolate, so I'm, I already put in 100 grams. So you just basically put this in and melt it together. Would you do a video with Olivia Neal? Yes, of course. She's probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, YouTuber in Northern Ireland at the moment. Has a crazy amount of subscribers and followers on Instagram and all that there, and she's grown massively recently. So if an opportunity arose, 100%. I feel like I need to get like decent bit more subscribers before that ever happens. But you'll probably never see this, but fair enough. Just melting the butter into the chocolate. It looks bad now, but it'll melt in about a minute or so. This is what it should look like. Thanks, mum. What's one thing in life that you know now that you'd wish you'd known earlier in life? I'd have to say that don't really care what other people think. There's always gonna be people there who are gonna not support you, try to tell you that things you're doing are rubbish. But as you grow older, try to surround yourself with people who will build you up and support you. And thought I was going to get loads of views to the YouTube. People said not to do it, but I did it and all my friends have actually been very positive, which made a big surprise. One I prepared earlier, last mum just made. Which YouTuber inspired you to start? First YouTuber I watched was KSI. He was oh, hilarious. But probably Casey Neistat with his kind of vlog type videos. Funny story about that. I was getting ready to go on holiday and I thought right I'll make some sunglasses and if you know the Casey Neistat glasses, these ones right here, they got like the wee white around them so I went into the garage, spent about a good hour spray painting them, left them for a while to dry, scratched the paint off, had them, looked alright, brought them upstairs, set them on top of the stairs for some reason, go to the toilet, walk outside, dad's put the suitcase on top of them. To this day, my brothers and cousins rip the piss out of me for it. They think it's the funniest story ever that I spent so long making these glasses, which apparently looked awful. I thought they looked pretty good. And then dad goes and puts a suitcase on them and broke them. Cheers, dad. What is my funniest memory from school? Well, <laughs> what is all this question? Had quite a few, but the one that stuck out to me was we were like 14, 15, we used to play this game called Ditch. You used to have to say it like Ditch. 
basically means that you run away from people. So what you would do is you'd be chilling at lunchtime and you'd tell one of the other classes, okay, we're gonna get Tom. Can you get Tom? And can you hold him? So we'd walk over to them, they would grab him and everyone would sprint away, right shouting, Deech! <laughs> and um, then he would be left or whoever was chosen would be left the whole lunchtime on their own, walking around. And if we ever saw them at lunchtime, we would just sprint away from them. And it was, yeah. <laughs> When you were the person who was left on your own, it was honestly the darkest days. It was so you were so lonely. You were just you just wanted to chill with your mates, and then you'd arrive at the class, and they'd be sitting there, and they'd be like, "Oh, where were you at lunchtime?" <laughs> the person would just be absolutely furious. Honestly, it probably caused people trauma, but like, really, it was extremely good fun when we did it back in the day. <laughs> Favorite part about your travels to Canada? Well, if you didn't know, I went to Canada last summer and was a counselor at a camp. All my friends wind me up because apparently I talk about it a lot. Probably say one day we had like usually get 24 hours off a week and we traveled to Toronto, which was three hours away. Impulse decision to go to Canada's Wonderland. Nearly went to Whitley's Aquarium. <laughs> um, went to Canada's Wonderland, went into Toronto that night, saw the CN Tower, got the wrong train back home. We're in a dodgy neighborhood, had to spend $120 to get an Uber home, then woke up at 6 a.m. and traveled back to camp. We had to be back for 9 a.m. because someone had a meeting. I told people not to put specific questions like their name in, but my brother Daniel didn't understand that. Why are you the third best Nelson at hockey? Well, Matthew plays professional hockey, so obviously I'm not as good as him. Daniel, you're four years older than me, so we'll see in like a few years' time if this changes. I forgot to put a timer on. You're supposed to whisk this for five minutes, so I have absolutely no idea if this is ready or not. Mom! Help, please. How is it? Light and fluffy? Perfect. Perfect. So I've got a perfect job. Dream job. Oh. When I was growing up, I always wanted to be a businessman. When you grow a bit older, you don't really know what that means because you can't just be like, there's no like profession of a businessman. So I'd probably say now it would be either a full time trader or a stockbroker. That would be, that would be the dream. Oh. oh. Why weren't you groomsman at my wedding? Well, Daniel, tell me. So Daniel, my oldest brother, was getting married last year. He had six groomsmen, and his two brothers were not included. We're not salty about it at all, as you can tell. I think Matthew was nearly never speaking to him again. Apparently we're seventh and eighth best, even though we've lived with him all of our lives, and he used to revise every day, and we used to have to be quiet. All day, wasn't allowed to listen to music in the shower for like five years. Wasn't allowed to be loud after like nine o'clock. And during the day, wasn't allowed to be loud. Had to be quiet. Had to close every door. But no, no, I'm not salty, Daniel. I was an usher, which is a massive role at the wedding. But I got the MC, so which was also extremely enjoyable because that just gave me a license to slag off Daniel and all of his mates. And he really shouldn't have given me that amount of power. I feel like on the day of the wedding, he was. Massively regretting giving me the mic. 150 grams of flour. Short interval for mum and dad to make lunch, so I'll just buy them a new house once my YouTube revenue goes mad. You know, you're trying to do something, you like need a space, and then your parents just decide that they'll just walk in at like all times. Like they never walk in usually, but as soon as you're like about to do something or watch something, they decide that they're going to hoover the whole house. Yeah, same. How do you maintain your masculine figure year-round fitness regime? I say, that's probably the weirdest question I've ever been asked. My masculine figure, well, I have no muscles. Basically, I stick. So, if that's masculine, then I do it extremely well. Fitness regime, I do like things like this here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Favourite brother, well, because Daniel didn't pick me as a groomsman. I know it was Usher like, but yeah, Daniel, sorry. Has to be mad. What am I doing? I just stick a knife in them. I feel like I have a male version of Mary Berry doing my bacon tutorial here. I completely forgot what I'm doing. Who's better at bombs, Jack, Eddie, Nate, or Thomas? Well, if you don't know what a bomb is, this is a bomb. Let's bring you in my I have to say, Thomas, he's in friend. Here's a video of Thomas doing one. Massive splash in comparison to mine. There, as you can see, 
as you can tell, is not looking amazing. It's supposed to not be this melted, to not melted and solid. Maybe I know we're good, we're good. What's your dream date? Well, I'm 20 years old, <laughs> never had a girlfriend. So, obviously I think about this a lot. <laughs> Quite sad, I just think of it. Dream date would probably be something adventurous, either go up to the north coast, have a nice lunch, or coffee, I don't drink coffee, but a hot chocolate, something in the Bothy, go over surfing or cliff jumping. Then after that, go to Ramor, get a takeaway, eat the Ramor on the beach, and then have a nice walk along the beach for sunset. If you could get a sponsorship from one company, who would it be? Oh, excellent question. Oh, uh, honestly, see people like any food company. For me, it would have to be a Nando's, Nando's black card. So now, if you're watching this, please um, give me one. What does why at me? <laughs> you naughty, naughty. You're teasing me, you naughty, naughty. Well, <laughs> I thought this question would maybe get in here. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it, is, it is a secret. Hopefully in the future, if I, if I bring out merch in the long, long, long term or something, if this all kicks off and does very well. It'll be Wyatt merch. And once that happens, then you will know the, the, the true meaning of Wyatt. So just mix in the flour and the mix together. Mm. Uh, there we go. Favorite hockey moment? Oh, I have to say when I was 14, here's a photo of me with the trophy. <laughs> yes, I know I'm three foot five. Who cares? finally grew after many years of my New Year's resolutions being that I want to grow. I know it's not a proper New Year's resolution, but I think that I wanted to grow so badly that my body was just like, yeah, okay, we'll just let him. Then we just add the chocolate. And then just mix that all in. Where do you hope to be in 10 years? I would like to be married. Are we 30? So married, still playing hockey, working as a trader or stockbroker. Maybe a kid, I would like three kids. So by 30, maybe one or two kids, if I get married like in the next while. <laughs> the brownies are in the tray. Just gonna put them in the oven now. Put them in the oven for 35 minutes at 170 degrees. The brownies are just ready. The final question was, what's one thing that people don't know about you? When I was 11, I was in Andorra on a ski trip, a church ski trip, and I won a dance competition in this like nightclub, but it wasn't a nightclub because we were all like 12 and 11 with our parents. But I won the dance competition, probably one of my proudest moments to date. Well, that's me finished. The brownies look excellent. I'll put a seven second edit at the end of the video of them looking really good. But Thank you so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.